Since I got into microbiome research about 10 years ago, um, I have been very interested in whether or not diet has a significant effect on the microbes that live in our gut. And as the interest in the microbiome has grown, so has the interest in um, the question as to how probiotics might work. What we suspect is going on is that in our GI tract, we have hundreds or thousands of different microbial species that are present in different combinations, in different three-dimensional arrangements. These gut microbes are all talking to each other. And at the same time, they're talking to us as their host, and we're likely sending signals back to them. It was a very simple study design, and, and I think that made it somewhat easy to try and see effects. We were looking at 12 healthy elderly subjects who were participating in a clinical trial. These subjects were given LGG twice a day for a period of 28 days, and then there was a 28-day washout period where they were not given any probiotic. We looked at the structure and function of the gut microbiome at baseline before the probiotic administration began at day 28 after they had been taking probiotics for four weeks and then again at day 56 following a four-week washout. What we believe happens now based on our results is that LGG gets into this environment, a very complex ecosystem that's already existing in the gut and begins to influence the activity of certain species of microbes that are present. And what was interesting was that the microbes that were affected, we know are really important. They produce butyrate as a byproduct of their metabolism. And butyrate has been shown to be very beneficial to us as the host. Butyrate has a number of anti-inflammatory properties, it nourish, it serves as a nutrient for all of the cells that line the GI tract. Butyrate is one of the key beneficial metabolic byproducts of our gut microbiota. Probiotics have been studied with regard to their potential effects for quite some time. There have been a number of clinical trials carried out, but almost all of the work that's been done to date has looked at the effect of probiotics directly on us as the recipient of these um, live organisms, either measuring changes in immune profiles, measuring changes in cytokine profiles, but very few studies up until this point have looked at the effect of putting a live organism into the middle of this complex ecosystem.